Hey guys, so like the title says, I got my own lunar cloak. The design is of two bears staring at the night sky, and in my opinion, it has a really nice and clean look. Also, it's proven that this cloak makes you 10 times better at bedwars, so uh, purchase it if you wish. This video will be a commentary video where I'll be talking about a few updates, along with a funny story about how I eventually was able to partner with Lunar. You can purchase the cloak by going to store.lunarclan.com, clicking view partners, media, and then scroll down until you see my cloak. Or you can simply go to the link that I'll put in the description. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So just as context, the official requirements for a Lunar Cloak is 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's different for Twitch, but since I'm a Bedwars YouTuber, I'm just gonna say 50k. One day, Verz DM'd me on Discord and congratulated me for getting 50,000 subs. If you guys don't know who Verz is, she is a fellow content creator and she mainly uploads pop PvP videos. She then asked me if I was gonna get a cloak, since I had officially met the requirements. And I told her that I tried to contact Lunar in the past, but unfortunately, I was only at 30k at the time, and therefore I didn't get a response. She then told me that she was actually talking to Psyche, who is one of the owners of Lunar Client, and she asked me if I wanted her to message him about getting my own cloak. And at that moment, there were angels. Um, I always wanted my own Lunar Cloak, and I told her, yeah, of course. So she messaged him, and he told her that I was eligible for a Lunar Cloak. She then sent me a screenshot of their convo, and she showed me that she sent Psyche my Discord. The screenshot also included Psyche replying to her with the name April, along with my Discord underneath it. Now at that point, I just thought he was going to give my Discord to a Lunar designer, and that he just wanted to send Verse proof that he did in fact message a designer to add me. But that wasn't the case, as you guys will soon find out. So over the next few days, I constantly checked Discord for a friend request from someone named April. And unfortunately, to this day, I still never received one. A few days later, I decided to message Verz about how long she had to wait to get in contact with her designer because I was getting a bit impatient and confused. And I also told her that I was waiting for someone named April to send me a friend request on Discord. And she told me, that's such a coincidence. That's my name, and that's exactly how it's spelled. And then it hit me. I was waiting for a friend request when I was the one who was supposed to message Psyche myself. So she started dying. Like, she started laughing uncontrollably, like like a, like a dog. Actually, dogs can laugh. Um, she started laughing like Lufnox. <laughs> and, I don't know, it was just like a funny moment, and it was just really dumb of me. But eventually I did message Psyche as soon as Verse told me that it was actually her that was named April and not the cloak designer. Um, he told me that I was eligible and he also introduced me to my designer. Um, I told her some designs that might look cool and she got back to me a few hours later and told me that she'd start working on my design. But that's pretty much all I have to say about the cloak. Um, I do also want to talk about why I haven't been uploading. I've taken like a one or two week break from YouTube. Not intentionally, but I feel like there's a mix of reasons. One huge reason why I haven't been uploading is because of a lack of ideas. Pretty much all of my videos are Bedwars videos, and the content is only so limited that like, I, I don't know. But on my channel, I don't really have like a specific series that I stick to. I know some people just do solo commentaries, other people do like videos taken from their stream, but my channel is just a mix of things. I'm either playing fours with Max, Uvinox, and Wolf, or I'm just like doing win streaks or trying to get world records and speedrunning and all that stuff. The thing about speedruns, for instance, the solo Bedwars one, uh, my record did get beaten, and it's just, it's pretty much gonna be impossible for me to break it. The person that did get the number one record, he got into a game with two other speedrunners, I think, and that luck is just it's just not something that would be in my favor so i just don't really want to spend days or weeks on end trying to get that one video when i could be producing other content and on top of that things like playing fours i know i really don't upload playing fours consistently as much as i'd love to a lot of the time our schedules either don't match up or i just don't feel like playing um obviously i love minecraft <laughs> it's my game of choice but it's not like I'm gonna play for 20 hours a day or 10 hours a day, even though I did a video on that. I don't usually play that long every day, and that makes it so it's hard for me to get out content 
on a regular basis. Also, another reason why I haven't been uploading is because of schoolwork. I know I've said it a lot in my other videos and descriptions, but I'd like to say that I do well in school, and because of that, I can't just devote all my time to YouTube. I also have to take time to do my homework, do essays, maybe study, and I just, as I keep saying, time is really the only thing that's an issue here. Time and, like, ideas. But that wraps it up for that portion of the video about why I haven't been uploading. I also want to address something that I've been getting a couple DMs about. I'm going to reveal my deepest, darkest secret right now. <sighs> I made a, a TikTok for bedwars, yes. Um, don't laugh, don't cringe, please. Also, surprisingly enough, my second TikTok has almost 100k views and I've only told like 10 people my TikTok. I haven't really advertised it. Um, I know it's in a couple of my video descriptions, but no one really checks my descriptions. Um, also, I've had a couple people DM me saying that I was on their For You page and they never have Minecraft stuff on their For You page. So that's actually really crazy to think about. I don't know. I, I do have my reasons for it and I guess I'll say them right now. Number one, um, I have gotten like a couple Bedwars TikToks on my free page, and I'm sure like a couple of you guys have as well. But the clips that I see on there, not just Bedwars even, just like Minecraft in general, some clips I just wouldn't consider, you know, the best clips. And obviously my TikToks, the TikToks that I already made, they aren't the best, but I feel like they do display a, a higher threshold of skill. But basically, when I saw these, like, average Bedwars TikToks on my For You page, I was like, hey, I play Bedwars, I can probably do that as well. So, here, here I am. Here we are. The second reason I decided to make a Bedwars TikTok is because I feel like there are so many clips that I've gotten and that I could still get. And I feel like TikTok is a great way to just display those clips. The third reason why I decided to make a TikTok for Bedwars is because I know it's a great way to expand my platform. I know Hannah X Six Rose and Wally Bear. I know they're really successful and and I really admire what they do. And people can just come to my channel through TikTok, I guess. It's a great way to expand my platform, like I said, and I'm gonna be able to make videos that more and more people can enjoy. And the last reason is because why not? I, I mean, nothing is stopping me from making a TikTok. It's just something that I'm gonna do for fun. I'm not gonna take it 100% seriously, of course. I'm probably just gonna make some TikToks funny or cringe because at the end of the day, it's for entertainment and, and it's also used so people can get a laugh out of it. I guess that sums it up. Um, if you guys want more videos where I talk more about what's up with my life or videos where I take a break from strictly gameplay and focus more on commentary, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching.